should be lovely. And the gentleman we're going to bring out is... Look out. Um, what? Look out. Now, everyone keeps saying, look out, look out. He is a pussycat. He will be at the Sahara Hotel Thursday, Friday, Saturday of this week. He is hosting Saturday Night Live on January 29th. He is one of the funniest men in the world. And um, it's the first time we've ever been together on the show. Will you please help me welcome Mr. Don Rickles? <laughs> I just told him I hope his mule dies. Thanks, Joan. I'll be at Lou's Fish Market a week from Wednesday, and then I'm working the wonderful farmer's market smelling cheese for two nights. By the way, uh, two, uh, one of those little horses, what do you call those little horses? Quarter horses. Quarter horses. Two of them were shot while you were playing the trumpet. <laughs> How are you, Joan? Nah. God bless you. This is a lovely outfit, and I know you always get... You with the dentist? <laughs> anyway, uh... No, it's very pretty. You, you were kidding yourself about it, and yeah. well, I yeah. wanted you to know this is a lovely outfit. Suck on my neck, just to relax. <laughs> Everybody has been saying to me, Don Rickles, Don Rickles, you're the Donny Marie of meanness, you know what I mean? Yeah. But I don't think, you know, I think you're a sweet, good man. What do your friends say when they... <laughs> well, you're a fool if you think I'm a <laughs> No, I'm not, I'm not that kind. You know, in our business, we, we do what, I, what we do. You do your thing, I do mine. Oh, only I happen to love Elizabeth Taylor. Uh, but, uh, uh, not a word. Hey, you know not what the whole thing You, know, you, you know do one Elizabeth Taylor joke. No, no, I don't do jokes. You know that. Sure. I talk about people. I, 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 I'm honest. I don't like him. <laughs> but, uh, I don't make a thing about it. You know what I mean? Johnny Carson's not here, and we both can be very honest. <laughs> I think you can handle it better, as you told me. <laughs> uh... Hey, the woman came in my dressing room and said, Don, you and I are friends. Don't I handle this show much better? I said, absolutely. And dummy here went, I, 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 I just played a trumpet. Uh... And Ed McMahon's at home in his underwear going, <laughs> It's Bobby Quinn's son. He writes down everything to tell the little director. See, everybody's <laughs> off when, you do, when you're on the show. You know that. So that's a vote of confidence. The regular crew takes off, and they bring in all the guys that are learning. <laughs> Freddie isn't even... Oh, yes, there he is. Freddie, the cover the cover the keep it. <laughs> He's the wonderful producer that keeps saying, you're marvelous, Joan. It's lies. It's all lies. <laughs> you know you don't like her either. Why do you lie to her for crying out <laughs> No, he loves you. You do a magnificent job, and I kid you. And does the jewelry go back in an hour? <laughs> anyway... As a, as a matter of fact, <laughs> yes. <laughs> How have you been? I'm delighted for your success, yeah, really. Well, we know each other a long time. Yeah. Your husband, her husband, Edgar, is in the hall now saying, yeah, give me $5, I'll park your car. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you really love Edgar, don't you? Yes. Mm. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> now, he's a wonderful guy. He's about four foot one, isn't he? <laughs> Yes. Walks around the hall going, I'm a beaver. <laughs> he's, a, he's a nice guy. We've been friends a lot of years. Yes. Not that many years. No, We've we been have... acquaintances. No, the great thing is, which they see, is when your wife, when your wife, when yes. you as yes. the wife, and, well, you know, as the host, I keep thinking yes. as a man, because we always assume it should be a man, you know. As you said to me many times, it should be you instead of her. <laughs> There's not a friend here. They give you all that baloney every night going, Joni, darling, Joni, baby. And Johnny hired you because he knows you're no threat. Uh... <laughs> See, a woman to a guy like Johnny Carson, he's got $6 billion. He's sitting now in Malibu Beach, running around in his jockey shorts going, how's the body look? How's the body look? <laughs> you and I know it's over. The body is wrinkled God. and it's over. You know. <laughs> right, you Doc? That's right. Well, why don't you jump in and be a man and say it? <laughs> <laughs> and message of interest. So please, stay tuned. <laughs> so glad you are. Hi, Don Nichols. Now, you look very...
away with Bessie. You went away with friends. Your good friends are uh, Steve Lawrence, your very good friend. Yeah, it was Steve Lawrence and Bob Newhart. Steve and I are doing a little project now, but we don't mention it's on another network, but we're having a, a ball of a time because Steve's great. He keeps saying, you want to hear me sing? And I step on his album. <laughs> uh, but, uh, and we went to Hawaii for Christmas and New Year's. Will you work on Christmas and New Year's? Yeah, I work anytime I can. I know you do. Bless your heart. I, I don't, I got a, I got a low-key wife. She's the one to keep saying, again, with entertaining. <laughs> uh, she thinks I should work in a candy store and just sit there and say, chocolate, vanilla, or something not too sweet. Anyway, uh, she's, she's great. You know the type, on the wedding night, just laid there and went, <laughs> You're married, right, Doc? Right. <laughs> Happily? Sure. Uh, no, I'm sure you are. <laughs> she probably gets up in the morning and goes, <laughs> We went to Hawaii, Joan. Do you, do you ever take vacations? Yes, we just took one. Yes, we, we saw each other in Lake Tahoe, and yes. you told me at Harris, which is another yeah. of our favorite spots, both of us. Yeah. And I work in the Sahara, and you work in Lake Tahoe a great deal, and you work, now you're working at Caesars. It's anywhere. Your, no, your career is... A buck's a buck. Hey, I, I gotta be honest. I am the strip slut in Vegas. They want me, <laughs> I move to the different hotels. But you know why? You have a great drive. I have a, a desire to get on the couch. That's my big dream. Just lay on the couch. My manager, Joe Skindor, he's not here tonight. Uh, he, unfortunately, he's at a rally to hurt somebody. <laughs> uh, he's Italian, and he just sits around Brooklyn going, oh, Bravo, bravo, and there's nothing going on. Uh, but you say that, and tomorrow you're going to see me with a limp. Uh, but I must say... Uh, you don't like to work? It's not a question of not liking. I love the life of, of leisure, of playing golf. I'm not a good golfer. Freddie DeCoveta, DeCoveta. Your producer's a marvelous golfer. I, I love golf. Newhart's a great golfer. Steve Lawrence is a guy that plays golf, but he's not, the, you know, he has that kind of rhythm. He hits the ball pretty good. But we went to Maui uh, this past Christmas and New Year's, and all we did was play golf, make love to the wives on our terms. What is that? Uh, no, they, they stood on the course and go, when? When? And, uh... <laughs> And, and Steve yelled, never, never. I didn't yell that. I was hoping somebody else would. But, uh, no, that's not true, darling. I do love you. <laughs> My luck, she'll be in heat tonight, and I'm tired. <laughs> anyway, uh, are you allowed to say heat on television? Oh, three guys just went, you can't say heat, you can't say heat, you can't say that. <laughs> but, uh, so far, John, you've been a big help to me. <laughs> uh, when you go to Hawaii, from vacation. Did you take your kids? Because we have children in the city. No, no, I took giraffes. <laughs> uh, whenever I go on vacation, I take two giraffes with me. No, I take my son, who is 13, and I take my daughter, who is 17, that just stands in front of the mirror. I don't know if your daughter... My daughter wants to be an actress. Is, oh, does your daughter have... very pretty. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. Is, is, is well, your mine's a little younger, but she wants to be, I think, a rock star. Yeah, well, my son loves the, the Sting and Duran Duran and Police. Culture and, club? Yeah, and in fact, he came home one night, and his face was green, and he went, wow, wow, wow! <laughs> and I said, yeah, man, yeah. <laughs> it's the new thing. That's why I'm looking forward to it. Have you done Saturday Night Live? No, I did it last year. I loved it. Well, well I'm, I'm, oh, I'm it's looking great forward fun. to doing it. You've I'm never like, done it? Never, never. I only did it once, the way I'm talking. Well, never uh, done it, huh? No. <laughs> puff, puff. No, but it's... it's shipping. <laughs> oh, puff, puff, the shipment came in. <laughs> anyway, uh... <laughs> I saw two guys from Columbia standing in the hall going, dang, 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 dang. <laughs> anyway, no, that, that's terrible with drugs and so forth, you know, because you hear about that so much guff of it, the kids should keep away from that. But I, I, I must say, because when I go down to Florida, I, even my mother, uh, bless her heart, she's in, she, by the way, may I say hello to her? She's in Cedar sinai uh, Mount Sinai, rather, in, uh, in Florida. And she's having a little problem with her eyes, but she's going to be fine. Hi, Mom, I love you. I, I, I just do that because uh, everything she has is in my name. <laughs> and um, I'm afraid she'll get a lawyer and change that around. <laughs> now, that's a joke, Mother, because my mother's the type of woman. I don't think that's funny! Does your mother travel with you? <laughs> I'm 57. Forget about that. <laughs> I mean, if she does, you know I have a problem alone in the bathroom. I mean, uh, no, no, my mother used to travel with me. I know uh, in the days in the park sunset, I think uh, long before you came to California, maybe so, but you're a very young woman. And, uh, oh, thank you. You are. And uh, I must say that uh, my mother used to travel How with young? me. How young? How <laughs> young? Don't, don't, don't push it. Uh, 
No, you're very young, and you and you know what? You know what I admire so much about, which a lot of people don't know, your background in education. Which see, my daughter's going through the SAT test now in the college. You've been through that. Ah. Uh. What is that all about? Oh, it's the, the worst. And California is the worst educational system in America. You know that. The, the, wor the worst. <laughs> Melissa brought a, a, a note home from her English teacher today. Melissa can do more better work. I mean, it is... <laughs> For a minute, I thought you were talking perfect English. <laughs> of course, where I came from, see, it's very, when we're raising kids, my wife and I, we don't have a college, although I graduated from American Academy in acting, my wife went to business school, but we didn't have a, you and Edgar are both college graduates, yeah. and it must be kind of a, 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 an advantage to raise kids when you went to college. Oh, do you think so? No, seriously. Oh, what, college education doesn't do you any good at all. I am a philosophy major. I can go to the butcher, prove the meat doesn't exist. I am <laughs> Nothing. See, really? Are you serious about it? Honestly, that? you know what it is? You, everyone that doesn't have a degree thinks it's terrific. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Those that have degrees realize it's nothing. If you're going to read, you're going to read. If you're not going to read, you're not going to read. Mm. You know? Well, Especially I'm, for a woman. Probably. A woman needs a pretty face and a trick pelvis. That's all a woman needs. <laughs> <laughs> Do you look for in intelligence in a woman? <laughs> well, I met my wife, so you take a guess. <laughs> uh, no, no, I look, I look for a bright lady. It doesn't have yeah. to be college, but I, I think I, I would have loved to have gone to college. I really do. I think that's a great thing to, for a young man and a young lady to have a, a college background. I think it's another uh, boost on the ladder. I think it's, a, you know, I came from the street. Well, my college was, hey, here's your college. Hey, hey. <laughs> that's Italian for how's your family. But uh, I didn't have it easy, and I got news. And I, and I wish that for my kids. And my daughter will go to college, and she'll be a wonderful, uh, wonderful student. And my son will, too. They'll both be great. And you're, uh, Melissa. What is your, what, Melissa is ready? Melissa's uh, going to be 15 the end of this week. Don't give out ages and all. Yeah, There's a lot yeah. of guys with ski masks. <laughs> anyway, uh, I... I uh, wish they'd call me. <laughs> <laughs> I did four times, but you didn't accept the call. I... But, Lee Salter, your publicist, is yeah. out backstage. He was so nervous. They were all, why were they so nervous? They thought we were going to have the w World War II. And the only person, really, and Doc, I swear, without Ed here, it comes alive with you sitting there. <laughs> the whole thing picks up. You were so wise to pick him instead of Ed. When you, had, you, know, when you signed this deal and you said, I must have Doc instead of Ed, I think that was the most cleverest thing you've ever done, really. Because <laughs> this guy, he, you know, he's a spark. Look at the way he jumps in and keeps it rolling with those takes and those looks. I mean, I got chills just sitting next to you. This guy's dynamite. I've been with, I was with him in New York once and watched a fly die in his face. He's great. You're great. I love you, Doc. You're great. He's the greatest. Uh, <laughs> we'll work it out. We'll work it out. <laughs> Do people ever get upset with you when you're kidding? Do you ever have people really get mad after the show and well, try to come back? Well, Joan, that's a dumb question coming from you. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> you know and I know. We do what we do. You can't win everybody. Nobody bats a thousand. Of course, some people will say, hey, I don't find that funny. But when you stand up alone, and all we have, we don't have any refrigerator. We don't have uh, Bob Barker saying, you just won two trips to Grenada. Right. Uh, <laughs> Which a guy said, I was there, it was great, it was great. <laughs> a lot of explosions, but it relaxed me. <laughs> anyway, uh, but uh, you, you, you stand alone and we do what we do. And uh, I got news, of course, the whole world doesn't love me, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I, well, the more I think about it, the more I realize it's so foolish when they ask us as performers, do you, uh, do people say I don't like, I think Bob Hope, who is the greatest performer in the world today and has done so much for our country, there's somebody out there that says, I don't like Bob Hope. Me. <laughs> but, uh, no, that's not true, Bob. He's sitting in his house saying, Dolores, what did he say? <laughs> And George Burns is going, I gotta get a 14-year-old girl and take a hike. <laughs> anyway, uh, but it's, it's all, we create an image, and we have to do our thing, and n you can't please the world. And uh, hopefully we try to get as many people as we can in our corner. But does anybody like you talk to them in an audience ever stand up and say, wait a second, come outside? Sure they did. But I have a lot of friends and my manager, people from Brooklyn, and nobody gets outside. <laughs> <laughs> they get to the door and then you see them on television at some telethon going, Help me! <laughs> Help me! <laughs> Were you always 
right? <laughs> and this is another dumb question, but I really don't know anything about you. Were you... What would you have been if you hadn't been a comedian? I would have been part of your crew. <laughs> no, had I not been a comedian, I like to think, and we all have fantasies. Yeah. I would like to think I could have been a, a darn good psychiatrist. I really do. But I realized, dealing with my own life, it is very difficult as a person for myself. But I think with other people, I can relate to other people, and I have a feel for other people. And I think I could have been, if I lived in another world, if I come back as a moose, uh, I could be a good psychiatrist. But I got news. That's only dreams and fantasies. Right now, I'm just lucky to be here with you. Well, I'm lucky to have you here with and me. And to be with Hot Charlie, right? Alongside <laughs> we'll be right back at this message of interest. So please, stay tuned. Whoa, what?